Hi guys, how's it going? It's Marky. Today I'm showing you a bunch of Hot Wheels from my collection. I have about 16 Hot Wheels right here to show you. They're all carded, never opened them. 1965 Pontiac GTO in orange. It's so beautiful. I'm mesmerized looking at this orange color. <clears throat> it's so nice. It's a really, really nice color. It's got some nice uh, graphics on the side. We have the uh, the gray flames all the way from the front fender coming all the way down to the door. The windows are rolled down on this one. We do have the little corner windows and you can see the handles on the door are painted over in the orange. And we do have some beautiful trim down here in chrome plastic. It looks like a plastic chrome, plastic chrome base. And we can see the trim up there. The exhaust is coming out to the sides. This one is a Hot Wheels made in Malaysia. And let's take a look at the markings. 2003 is the copyright on there. 65 Pontiac GTO. Really nice chrome base. We do have the nice chrome grill in the front. Little spot for the license plate there. Beautiful headlights. We have four of them. And a nice grill. Really cool bumper there. And a nice bumper in the back and you can see the exhaust on the sides a little spot there for the license plate we do have the little lock on the uh, hood there i mean on the trunk and you can see here and there there's little defects little paint missing on some spots and some little something stuck on the paint there nice chrome five spokes we do have a little scoop on the hood there you can see that with a little little arrow in black Painted on there, so cool. Very, very nice. We do have the old school bucket seats in there. And it is a left side driver, no mirrors on the side. We do have some wipers. This time, isn't that unusual? Or this happens once in a while, you'll have the wipers molded in die cast, not on the actual plastic glass. So they're molded in metal, right over the vents right there. That is so cool. Nice details. Really nice details. 1965 Pontiac GTO. And let's check out the card. The artwork on this one is really beautiful. The Hot Wheels logo in that time, and those uh, they had switched it up a little bit and cut this a little bit short there and brought the point down this way. Two cars on the uh, card here in blue, all like in the nighttime. See the lights are turned on. An offer for a price guide, 2008 All-Stars, a really nice GTO. Here's the back of the card. And they have that offer to find this uh, price guide book. Born in 1965, Detroit, Michigan. Copyright on the card is 2007. What a beautiful car right here. I love it. And let's keep going. Let's see, what else do I have today for ya? 62 Chevy, also from the 2008 All-Stars. Wow, nice pearl white. Beautiful blue stripes on the side here. The darker blue and the lighter blue on top. We do have the handles on the door painted over in silver. So a little contrast there. We do have a nice white interior on this one. So it's kind of like a white on white car, a beautiful steering wheel on the left side, left side driver like we drive in America. Nice chrome wheels on this one, the double spokes. We do have the chrome, big chrome bumper on the back end here. Let's get a little closer. There we go. You can see the lights are painted in on the back here on silver. That's pretty neat. Really nice that they painted the lights, gave us tempo work on the side. And then the front end is all chrome. Nice plastic chrome grill. Nice headlights. We do have a big bumper, a spot for the license plate. Very, very nice. A 62 Chevy. What are the markings on this one? 2003 copyright Malaysia, Hot Wheels logo, 62 Chevy. That's all it says down there. Got a little hair stuck on there. Tires all the same size. What a beauty. This is a really nice looking Chevy. This one also has 
the uh, windshield wipers molded right in the die cast. So they sculpted that right into the mold with the die cast mold. And we have the little vents right under there, right under the uh, windshield wipers. We do have a little smoke to the window. And we do have a little die cast um, around the, the little triangle window there. Big window in the back, all smoky. And we do have the, the trunk kind of outlined really nicely. You see the trunk really well. And same thing with the hood. Some really lines on there, some really nice lines and some really cool lines towards the side and around the front of the vents. It's a really cool looking 62 Chevy. It's got a really nice look to it. I love the colors on this. It's all working. I love the back end, everything all around. It's looking really good. No side view mirrors on this one, neither. Neither of these two had the side view mirrors. Big steering wheel, looks so cool. And uh, a bench seat with that fold down. Really cool, really cool. Two door car, and it looks amazing. It really does. Nice colors on this one. Yeah, it's just working just fine. <laughs> oh, the back should be about the same as the other one. 62. Detroit, Michigan, and yeah, same thing as the Pontiac GTO, more or less the same card. V8 engine, a 409 V8 engine, very cool. All right, next up, a 70 Chevy Chevelle. Wow, this one is a Zamac or Zamac, number 15 for 2014. Hot Wheels Workshop Series with a green stripe. There's a Hot Wheels game you can play. Just check out the back. Here's the more, uh, the more uh, vintage looking logo like we had on the original car. It's kind of similar. And beautiful artwork on this one that matches the car. We see the uh, blue chrome on the wheels. The wheels are blacked out with that little blue chrome stripe. The 70 che Chevy Chevelle, so nice. Summit racing equipment right on the door. We have the red and the blue stripe, and we have blue trim or blue stripe on the bottom with the exhaust showing right there, right behind the door in red. And the Hot Wheels logo, you can barely see it, but it's there in blue, and you can see the uh, die cast showing through. Chrome bumper on the back, big wing back here. A really nice looking car. Wow, look at that. Beautiful spoiler in red on the front end here. Nice grill, beautiful headlights. We do have the locks on the hood. A big scoop on there. Left side driver, we do have the console in the middle and a nice red seat in there with uh, all the racing equipment in red. And then we have the chrome, uh, the chrome uh, rollover bar in there, that's so cool. And the glass has a little bit of a blue tint to it. You can see it's a left side driver, no mirrors for this one. No mirrors needed when you're racing. And uh, chrome, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> and uh, chrome, uh, chrome bumper on the back. And here's the base, all red plastic. Made in Malaysia, copyright 2012. 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle Super Sport. Nice markings on there, Hot Wheels logo. You can see the giant exhaust coming to the sides there, coming out the side. And it comes down all the way from the engine all the way like this. Takes a turn to the sides. What a beauty. I like, I like the console in chrome with the seat in red. That looks kind of cool. Now the chrome steering wheel, I don't know. Chrome steering wheel. Maybe part of the... I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> but uh, pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. I love it. There's the card again. Beautiful card back of the card you can scan to start the race has this little game going on hot wheels workshop 2014 hot wheels performance and the copyright is 2013 and there we have it little uh sales sticker on there dollar 97 can't remember where i got this i really can't all right that's a really cool one and now we move on to a ford mustang fastback in black it's a flat black or a matte black with the gold stripes and a number 11 on there on the hood on the doors 
gold stripe on the blacked out wheels. What a nice Mustang. Let's get up closer. Wow, look at that. The interior looks cool and kind of like a yellow gold with the uh, black floorboards. See the dashboard, left side driver, no mirrors on this car. No windshield wipers on this one. Just the vents right there next to the hood. A big scoop on the hood there. Wow, this Mustang looks mean. Looks so bad, awesome. Awesome looking, when I say bad, I mean it looks good. <laughs> Really cool, blacked out in the back. Lights are blacked out. And a little spot for the license plate there. Cool that the stripes come all the way across from the front all the way to the back over the, the roof and onto the trunk. And of course, right over the hood there. Black grill. Let's get the little dirt off of this. Wow. Nice number 11 in the circle. The Goodyear logo, the champion logo, logo there or badge, nice bucket seats, it's a beauty, let's see the markings on the base, it's a 65 Mustang Fastback, same thing, says, says over here, oh, they don't have the year on here, just Ford Mustang Fastback, and then over here, they don't have the word Ford, it just says 65 Mustang Fastback, really, really nice, not a lot of details for the exhaust or anything like that, but it looks nice. Oh, there it is. I'm sorry, the glare wasn't... I couldn't see with the glare there, see? But there it is. There it is. It does have the details for the big fat pipe coming right behind the door. Same same as the other car. It comes down and then takes a curve right behind the door. A really fat pipe showing on the sides. Looks really cool. Nice fastback. You have the little locks on the hood and that number 11 there. Wow, it's a beauty. 2008 new model so it was like a first edition in 2008 for this uh, first time this casting appeared in this uh, shape very nice here's the back of the card you can see what was available for the year Ford Mustang Fastback 1964 was the year it was born in Dearborn Michigan USA V8 engine on this one Custom exhaust. Nice sports car. 2007 copyright on the on the uh, card right here. And this is a really cool looking uh, card. Number 27 of 40. 20, 2008 new models. And that year they had 40 new models. 40 of them for the year. Isn't that awesome? And I have another... Oh, this one's a Phil's Garage. I was going to say Larry's Garage. It's a Phil's Garage. Hot Wheels. Phil's Garage Series. Really cool. Number 12 of 39. The 69 Camaro in a beautiful white with the orange interior and white. I mean, orange stripes across the full car. Trunk to hood. Really nice 69 Camaro. Metal on metal with real riders which means the base is metal and so is the body. Let's get up close and take a look. This Hot Wheels Garage series is so awesome. Still to this day, they hold up so nicely. Look how beautiful that looks. Rubber tires, metal on metal. The grill is metal, the body is metal, the base is metal. A lot of die cast here, it feels really heavy. Nice wheels on this one. Gray towards the middle and then they have that little Chrome stripe around the edge. Wow, big fat tires on the back, smaller ones in the front, all rubber with the treads showing. We do have some exhaust on each side showing there. And then you have the little pipes on the back there. You can see that. Very, very nice. We do have the parking lights on this one and the little Camaro name on the side here with the, uh, looks like it says Super Sport. I think it's an SS. I can't really see that well. <laughs> Gonna have to get closer and see. Kind of smudged there, so I can't really tell what that says, but I thought it was SS. Maybe, maybe it's not, not sure, not 100%. But what a nice looking Camaro with the orange stripes. 
Beautiful. I've seen the Camaro in orange with white stripes too, so kind of like a reverse. Orange interior, the vintage bucket seats. These do have the taller bucket seats with the headrest. A lot of times you see these Camaros with the shorter bucket seats with no headrest. We do have a left side driver, no mirrors on the side, and no uh, windshield wipers on this one. We do have the little vents showing there and some bigger ones. And a really cool grill, grill in the front with the lights on the bottom and towards the side, the headlights there. Oh, wow. Painted brake lights on the back end here. Little spot for the license plate. What a beauty, 69 Camaro. I love it. Next up, oh, let me show you the back real quick, what the back of the car looks like. And they're talking about the Hot Wheels collectors.com they want you to go check it out and um copyright on the card is 2009 and here are the other cars you can find in the series from the volkswagen 21 window drag bus the 69 barracuda to the volkswagen fastback and the galaxy 500 there's a gto an eight crate oh my god there's so many good ones the chevy nova the charger a beautiful series amazing all right now we'll move on now we'll move on to a beautiful cadillac escalade look at this check it out guys now i can't make out the color is it a salmon is it a red pink combo or just call it light red or medium red i think i think we can get away with a medium red but it looks kind of watermelon <laughs> like a watermelon mix Oh, we could probably call it a call it a watermelon color. I don't know, but it it does have a darker red in the stripes there, with the silver, and check out the five spokes in chrome. And you can see right through them. It's pretty cool that way the wheels look on this one, and you see the exhaust is showing all the way in the back. One pipe showing on the back end. Really cool. Let's get a little closer. There we go. Now you can see the tampo work on there. Nice graphics. It is a left side driver. The interior is all chrome. We do have some really nice details on the console there and on the seats. We do have a support beam in there in the same color of the car. The back is just sprayed over in the car color. No extra details for, for uh, lights, I don't think. Maybe because, you know, looks kind of red, so it looks like brake lights. And nice spot there for the license plate. We do have a roof rack on top, some ridges for uh, reinforcement. We do have the little wing on the back top there, top of the gate, or maybe the window opens up. I'm not sure how this one works. The Escalade, looking good, looking good. It does have a little bit of detail here for the running board in chrome, plastic chrome running board, just like the interior. The base, however, is black. And you can see how it fits inside the die cast. The die cast comes all the way down, so they fit the base inside there. And the die cast comes all the way down right to the to the very bottom. Very cool. Plastic chrome grill on the front end. You can see right there. The lights are not painted in, no extra colors, no, no graphics on there. Just all red. We do have the wipers molded in the die cast metal, not on the glass. And the glass does have a little smoke to it, so it makes it a little harder to see inside, but the windows are rolled down on the front end, so you can see a little better in there. Very cool Cadillac Escalade. Let's take a look at the card. There you go, Hot Wheels 2008 All-Stars Cadillac Escalade. They have the offer for the price guide, the two cars racing in the nighttime with the lights turned on. And the back, they do have that offer there, or just letting you know about this book. Cadillac Escalade, born 2007, and the copyright is 2007. And they say to go to hotwheels.com to track your collection and play fun games. And I don't know if you can still do that, but just letting you know. And let's move on. We have a nice, nice looking Hot Wheels right here, 65 Chevy Impala. Hot Wheels stars series with a blue stripe a 65 chevy impala in black this is a flat black 
with a really bright green and kind of like yellow included in those graphics. Is that a ram or a goat? I don't know, but it looks pretty cool. Green flames, green and yellow flames. It does have green tint on the windows. Left side driver with the see-throughs or the glass looking seats. They have that clear, clear plastic look. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe they're, <laughs> maybe they're just green, I don't know. Kinda looked like it was maybe, I think the uh, plastic here makes me <clears throat> see things that, that are not there. But uh, here's the chrome <clears throat> bumper on the back end, excuse me, and we do have the lights painted over in black. Nice uh, badge there. Very cool Impala. Chevy Impala. We do have a white stripe on the blacked out spokes here or the blacked out rims. The windows are rolled down, so you probably can see better when you take it out of the package and flood some light in there. A really nice uh, chrome base on this one with the bumpers, part of the base in the chrome, which works really well for these older 60s and early 70s cars. We see the exhaust detail right there. Very cool. There's something else going on here, something else there. Something down the middle right there. Very cool little details. Nice grill in the front. And there are some gold or yellow green details there. Or is that just discoloration? <laughs> I don't know. It looks like they added some details, some colors or something to that grill. The bumper is all chrome. The grill has a little color to it. The headlights look great. Nice lines on the hood there in the middle. Very cool vents showing there. On the hood, no mirrors again, no, no windshield wipers. We do have the corner windows and the back windows rolled up in green. Green tints in the front and on the back. Nice lines to this car. Very beautiful. Cool details with that skull on the front. Animal skull and an animal skull here on the side with the flames. It looks great. Let's check out the back. 2007 65 Chevy Impala. A little more about what they're releasing for that year. Very cool. Very cool. And check it out, guys. Look at this. This looks a lot like the truck that they issued and that uh, Walmart exclusive set for the uh, owner of Walmart or the, the founder of Walmart's truck. Ford F100 or 150. Ford F150. And it's a 19... 79 Ford F-150. What does it say on here? Mattel hot, Mattel, Mattel wheels. <laughs> Where's the word hot? 75, oh, 79 Ford F-150. I'm sorry, guys. I'm all tongue-tied. 79 Ford F-150. Number three of four cars in the Attack Pack series. Hot Wheels logo with Mattel in there. Very nice. Guaranteed for life. For ages, over three die cast metal and plastic parts. Very cool. Plastic chrome base. All the black area here is metal. The top over here, the cover on the back is plastic. And even the gate is plastic. You can see that how it snapped in there. Only the sides are metal. Plastic chrome bumper on the back. A lot of dust on this one. This thing's a attract us like crazy right out of the air particles come flying and stick on it <laughs> big grill on the front in chrome plastic a really nice black color the lights make it look kind of bluish but it's black it's just the blue from the card reflecting black with a mantis on the side hot wheels logo on the bottom over here in the back of the fender Five spokes in chrome. We have the black walls. A full plastic chrome base on there. Left side driver. We do have the little windows in the corner, but there the windows are rolled up on this one, so it's all together one piece. Nice vents on the front there by the, by the front end. I mean by the uh, by the hood. The hood has a nice couple of nice lines on there, one down the middle, and it has a little bit of a lift 
goes up and then down. Little spot for the license plate, really nice grill. Great bumpers in the chrome. Perfect for this kind of vehicle. Very cool. So nice. Let's check out the, the back of this card. A little different on this one. Create the ultimate test track, the world's coolest car company, Hot Wheels. <laughs> 2023. Copyright 1999 on this one. So cool. Check it out. Nissan truck. Collect the entire attack pack series. The Nissan truck power. Power plower. <laughs> This one, the F-150, and the Dodge Ram 1500. So you can get all four in this mini series within the year yearly series. Very cool. And then check this out. A 40s Woody. With the surfboards and all. It's got the roof rack, the surfboards. And the orange is all die cast. Then plastic cab here or body. Little spot for a spare tire. Metal on the base. You can see it's a metal base. The bumpers are metal. Hot wheels. And it's just marked uh, 1979 on there. The copyright. Malaysia. 40s Woody. Team surfs up. Number two of four. So you had four surfing vehicles. Really cool. Really cool. Really cool. I love it. Wow. That's so awesome. Two surfboards, a smaller one and a bigger one with a lot of color on them. Really cool orange color on this uh, Woody. Nice metallic orange. A deep dark orange. Really nice. The grill is plastic and the engine is plastic chrome. The bumper is metal. What a beauty. Team surfs up. I don't have that many um, cars in the package. I usually open most of my my collection. I open them. Most of my collection is loose, but I do once in a while, for some reason, want to save one in the package. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I do the things I do. But here's the rest of the series for the year. Look for all the 2008 vehicles. New models every month. 40s Woody, born in 1940, Dearborn, Michigan, USA, Ford Motor Company, designed this beauty. Fat Fenders, a blown V8 engine, wooden body, a surfer favorite, so cool. 2007 copyright in there, it was released in 2008. Beautiful. Another nice Hot Wheels I have here to show you with the surfing theme going on here all of a sudden. <laughs> It's a 2008 new model with a 08 custom 62 Chevy. 13 of 40 new models. Wow, that's so cool. And they still make this one today. You never know when they'll bring back one of the old castings. They do it every once in a while. Or probably every year they bring something back that they've issued before. Different colors. Custom 62 Chevy. Double pipes on the sides. Right behind the door there. Big fat tires on the back compared to the front. Very cool. Custom 62 Chevy. Beautiful stripes on this black Chevy pickup truck. Chrome bed in there. And an orange surfboard. Great match with the orange stripe on the side here, and the white stripes look cool too. Chrome interior, do have the black floorboards, and a little bit of an orange tint to the windows. Black base and plastic, and the chrome grill is plastic. Now the bumper or the spoiler down here is all, uh, looks like it's all metal. You can see the plastic coming all the way down and sitting within that area there, and then you see the little grill is kind of like sitting on top of that plastic piece. So the plastic chrome grill sitting in there. Very cool how they put these together. And then the black plastic pipes, all of a sudden they're turned into chrome. Little tips in chrome. 
Beautiful black end with a Chevrolet logo on the gate. All blacked out. The lights all blacked out. Really cool. Really cool looking. Love this little truck. Beautiful pickup truck. Sweet. I love it. Custom 62 Chevy with that gold stripe on the side or yellow stripe. Born in 1962. Wow. Detroit, Michigan, USA. Wow. That's so cool. 2008. Look for all the 2009 vehicles, new models every month. So this one came out in 2009. It says 08 here. 2008 new models. I guess they're just announcing that they're going to have more new models coming. Very cool, very cool, man. I love this one. Here's another one from the Surf's Up series, which is Team Surf's Up. Same as the Woody right here. And it's this beautiful little blue truck. This one's called the Hummer H3T Concept. So it's a concept Hummer. It's got the Surf's Up tampo or graphics right there on the door. No mirrors on this one. We do have a little, little bit of the vents there showing, little tiny vents. And nice sub uh, vents and scoops on the hood there. All chrome plastic on the front end. Big rugged tires and look at those wheels, wow. Little part of the bottom there is chrome plastic. All the blue is die cast, all the blue area. Really cool. We do have a little plastic piece there on the back behind the seats. And there, there is no uh, glass on the back, I don't think. I think it's all open on the back. Only glass on the front windshield there. No glass on the sides. And you can see how the way the uh, the little rack is kind of like connected in there. Onto the side and onto the back here. With a couple of surfboards all in white. Really cool. I love the little graphics of the wave coming over. And then some flames coming off of the... Foam of the wave, that looks really nice. And as it goes this way, it extends back. Really cool flames <laughs> coming off the wave. Very creative. The Hummer H3T. That's what it says there, H3T. I couldn't make it out. But there, now we know. The H3T, and got some more kitty cat fur on this one. Wow. Really cool little truck. Hummer H 3T. Copyright 2004 under there on the base. Got more of these little hairs on this. So hard to keep these clean. <laughs> All right, let's see. Team Surf's Up. Got the name there, number one of four. How cool. I don't even remember if I have the complete series. Some of the details for the year. Born 2004, General Motors, birthplace Detroit, Michigan, designer is General Motors. Copyright 2007 on the card, very cool uh, Hummer concept right there. And then here we have another Chevy Nova, I mean Chevy Nomad. I say another because I showed a few this week on a couple other videos. Had a few more Nomads from my collection. Making a... Deb I'm not a debut, but a uh, <laughs> starring in some of my videos, I guess you can say. Nice metal base on this one. 1969 Malaysia Chevy Nomad. Hotel Incorporated right up there. Metal base and metal body on this Nomad. No opening hood on this one. Some of my other ones do open the hood. No opening hood on this one. And it says Chevy Nomad 4 of 4. And doesn't have the name of the series. Mattel Wheels. Hot Wheels here. No Mattel logo on this one. Collector number 106. Year 2002. Race and win online. Get the code. Orange body with the white stripes. Hot Wheels red lines right on the door. That looks so cool. What a nice logo. Hot Wheels red lines. And you see the red line on the tires. That's what they refer to. Chrome wheels, five spokes. And we have the little tampa work back here or badge on the glass. Heralda Engineering. White stripes heading all the way towards the back. White stripes on the hood. Wow, what a sweet ride. Who would have 
thought the uh, Nomad would look so good in an orange enamel color. It looks really good. With those red lines on there, those stripes. Wow. A nice improvement, making the Nomad look like a race car here. Really cool. We do have the big sunroof on top. All the windows are a little darker. Very cool. We do have these ridges on the top here. Those bumpers, all metal showing through. The grill is all metal. Wow. What a beauty. Nice, nice, nice. I love it. All right, let's check out another one. Here's a nice Ford Vicky, the 32 Ford Vicky. This one's from the same year as the other one, 2002. The Ford Vicky. Same thing, Hot Wheels Red Lines series up there. We do have a little dent in the bubble here. Nice red lines on this one. Purple color. And look at that. Some really nice graphics on the side. A lighter metallic color. Wow, that looks awesome. The pipes are all metal. The base is all metal. The body's all metal. White interior on this one. Really cool bucket seats and a bench seat in the back. Awesome left side driver. No mirrors for this car. Big pipes on the back. Beautiful purple color on this. Nice uh, Ford Vicky. I love the black area outlines in that lighter purple or pinkish color. Hot Wheels logo. Really cool with the silver and pink and then some black details there. Very cool. Now, I think the engine is metal as well. Look at that. You can tell that it's metal. It's not plastic. The grill is also metal. Wow. Very heavy car compared to some of the ones that have so much plastic in them. So the only plastic is the front windshield, the back windshield, and the interior. The wheels, of course, are plastic. But so cool to have a nice, heavy 32 Ford. The 32 Ford Vicky. What a beauty. And awesome pipes again. Four on each side. So nice. So nice. What a cool engine, too. 32 Ford Vicky. And here's the back of the card. I think I forgot to show the back of the Nomad. Should be about the same. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, they're the same year. Copyright on these. Where's the copyright? 2001. And issued in 2002. Hit the shelves in 2002. Very cool. A little more information there if you want to read that. Awesome. Awesome series. Now check this out. <laughs> the cool combi. Hey, we're back to surfing. The surf shop. Cool combi with a really nice card. Awesome graphics. Surf shop on the side there. Beautiful Hot Wheels surf shop. Let's see. Did they do that? Yeah. Hot Wheels surf shop on the side here. Really cool wood panels on the side. There are the surfboards sticking out the back. Big, big exhaust right there. Giant exhaust. This looks like it might be all plastic on the base. Very nice. Look at the white wheels. Big ones on the back, smaller ones in the front. Nice Volkswagen badge right there on the front end. That is so cool. Little cool combi. <laughs> oh, looks like maybe, maybe, maybe on the top there, you have one of those uh, retractable roofs. Looks like you can access a little something there. Is that for the gasoline? Oh yeah, look at that engine. <laughs> wow. Kind of hard to see everything clearly with this uh, bubble. Cool combi. Hot Wheels City is the series. Blue Stripe. Look at the Hot Wheels game. Hot Wheels City 2015. Surf Patrol. Scan to start the race. That's for that thing right there. 2013 is the copyright. And it says Hot Wheels City 2015. So it looks like these hit 2015 Hot Wheels Cities. Very, very cool. Another Cool car right here. Look at this. The Hypermite. 
Now, I have this one in various colors. I'm not going to show them today, but I do have, I do know that I have these in my collection in different colors. The Hypermite. Who created this? Does it say? Doesn't say who the designer was. Go to Hot Wheels. Find, find out about special promotions. Okay. Where's the designer name? No designer name here. I know it's got to be designed by Hot Wheels. It's kind of like a fantasy car. 2007 is the copyright. A star with black flames coming out of the star. That's really cool. Black uh, base. And then we have the chrome. This looks like it might be metal. I don't know. It looks like metal to me. And even this, the lights here. I don't know. It looks like it might be metal. Could that be all die cast? All die cast, the front and, I mean, the cab and the uh, engine? There's a chance. I don't know. Really cool uh, cab in there or cockpit, whatever you want to call that. And look at the wing on top. Comes all the way from the front like that and then the wings so cool nice uh, lines there very nice how it flows the graphics are really cool giant wheel in the back tiny little wheel in the front <laughs> really tiny little wheel fat ones in the back fat, fat tires and skinny little tires in the front copyright on this one is 2000 what's it called again the hypermite hypermite hot wheels stars and it's got a star on the door Nice orange color, a glossy orange. Really cool. Here's the top view. Very cool. Here's the back view. Kind of looks like those uh, old model kits from the uh, Big Daddy Roth days, right? Very, very nice. I love it. And then we have a team Volkswagen this time. And there's number, this is number three of four. There was four that you could collect, four different Volkswagens. I showed the orange one, not this Baja Bug, a different orange concept Volkswagen in one of the past one or two videos back, maybe two or three videos back. I don't know. The, the other video where I was showing carded uh, cars for my collection. This one does have a metal base. So anyways, the orange one does have the team Volkswagen on it with the purple, I believe. Red with white interior, really cool. Logos on the side, number 310. Wow, look at that metal engine right there. Metal body, scoop up there. Couple of lightning bolts on the hood, black and silver with a white lining. So cool. Really tall tires. Awesome, Baja Beetle is the name, Baja Beetle. And see what's marked down here, Hot Wheels, Mattel, 1983, Malaysia. There we go. And the exhaust, bam, it's pointing up. <laughs> you can see inside, it's got a rollover bar, bucket seats, left side driver, no mirrors on this one, no glass, so there's no need for windshield wipers. <laughs> and the front end is kind of all painted red the lights are all red lights on the fenders there all in red same thing for the back everything all red it's a really deep dark color red with the black and white lightnings and then the silver lightning on the front wow so cool it does have the hot wheels logo there as part of the logos on the door Really nice. Let me um back off a little bit. Look at the card. Look how pretty with this purple stripe. Hot Wheels logo. Baja Beetle. This one I do have in many different, throughout the years, many different uh, combinations of colors and, and graphics. Here's everything that was uh, being announced for 2008. 1951 Baja Beetle. Wow. From 1951. Wow, these Beatles go way back. Copyright 2007. Birthplace, Wolfsburg, Germany. Designer, the Volkswagen Group. Split rear, uh, rear window, a roof scoop. 
modified suspension. This beetle was made for off-road racing or desert chasing. Very nice. Very cool. All right, guys, this is the last one. I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget, like this video, comment, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.